hello everyone so this is a quick video i thought uh, to share you the update about the new release of uh, console multi physics that is version 6.3 and there are a ton of updates that are there you can go through uh, this blog uh, website i will link it in the description so there are a major update going on here including the gpu acceleration in especially in acoustics uh, i haven't got the chance to try it out the major update include the electric discharge module so basically the electric discharge module is the add-on to the console multi-physics suit designed to address wide range of electric discharge scenarios now previously you might have uh, seen that electric discharge related physics was slightly difficult to model so at its core it provides specialized simulation capability for atmospheric pressure gas discharge breakdown phenomena in liquids like transformer oils discharge in solid materials such as insulating polymers and so on now these scenarios are quite important in various industries from electronics power systems to even material science and microelectronics now in this module i guess it offers a interface to simulate breakdown thresholds like um, surface charge dynamics and discharge processes these features are um, actually important for uh, various environments like uh, atmospheric gases to micro mechanical system or mems or even to electronic devices where microscale events occur so it is designed with uh, i hope the usability in mind ensuring basically the users will be uh, effectively able to capture the electric discharge initially in that medium so uh, i think few of the major applications include let's say the power system and high voltage engineering so transformer oil breakdown and surface charge dynamics are like critical for the reliability of high voltage equipments right so maybe this module will allow engineers to simulate and understand this phenomena and uh, help them design systems that are safer and more efficient so this may be useful in predicting breakdown threshold that are important to prevent failures another could be the electronics compliance related studies so as electronic devices are becoming compact and powerful now ensuring electromagnetic compatibility is more challenging than ever right because the dimensions are also decreasing the electric discharge module probably will help simulate like discharges such as caused by lightning on electrostatic devices uh, this will hopefully help engineers to uh, create designs that meet like strict criteria standards without extensive uh, physical testing then again in uh, if you think about aerospace uh, lightning strikes are again a concern for aircraft so i guess this module will also help uh, to study electromagnetic pulses and other discharge events and then if we talk about material science and mems the ability to simulate discharge phenomena in materials like let's say polymers at a micro scale level opens a new door basically in material research uh, i guess this will greatly help in mems and other electro microelectronic devices which operates in environment where even tiny discharge event can have a massive impact so i guess uh, that would be a good uh, application for this particular module and then if we talk about fluid dynamics and multi physics application for scenarios involving multi physics interaction definitely this is another uh, great feature to add in Know, among the all modules so this will integrate seamlessly with other 
products since this is integrated in the software for example in fluid dynamics simulation i guess um, now you'll be able to model the impact of electric discharge on flow behavior or chemical reaction that are uh, useful for application like uh, let's say plasma reactors and some specific manufacturing process and uh, so on so i guess uh, this module is uh, something to be explored and you can also go through various uh, update for example uh, in the compiler there is an update that you don't need the exact uh, runtime version so uh, we can have a particular major version and it will support all the sub version update release and so on and there are various other updates as well so maybe when i guess ac uh, get access to the software i'll explore and make some uh, important uh, videos that may help you uh, to understand what are actually the major updates now again i'll just touch on to the acoustic module so uh, it says it offers GPU support for accelerated simulations. Uh, this will be something great if it works because uh, if it uses the NVIDIA GPU to actually solve the model, it will save a lot of time. So let's see how this works and uh, do subscribe to this channel. Uh, as soon as I have some uh, interesting update, I'll try to make a video about it so that it will help in your project. Thank you and have a nice day.